Hey, thanks for joining me. Um, I'm here to give you a rundown of my review of literature for Nella Larson's Passing. So, in Nella Larson's Passing, I chose three articles that centered around race. Josh Toth will be my first article I talk about. It's called The Authenticating Community, The Passing Intrusion of Claire Kendry, Claire Kendry and Nella Larson's Passing. So, in this article, Toth basically talks about race. Um, and the passing intrusion, as he calls it. And so, one of Toth's main points is that race is something that holds communities together. Um, and he kind of contrasts that with the character of Claire. Claire being someone who doesn't really have a defined race, who kind of goes between these two communities, the community of her husband and the community of Irene, and kind of indiscriminately. Um, kind of just looking for enjoyment or fulfillment in her life. And this can be frustrating, and Toth mentions that because Claire has no affinity to one race or the other and kind of no clear mindset or motivation, we're kind of frustrated by her. We don't really understand her. And um, so she challenges, she challenges the idea of race holding a community together um, because she is so fluid and she is so kind of this outlier of a society, if uh, you have the African American community in New York and you have the white community um, that are kind of held together primarily on the idea of a race, um, that she's not really in those. Um, and he kind of continues with the idea of passing as a whole, like what is passing? Um, and he states that it's an action. And it goes along with another idea he talks about is race being performance. So if race is performance, action is a mode of being. If it were to be um, an act, something you could see like, oh, passing is like walking through a door, so to speak, um, you would see passing as someone not on one side of the door uh, before passing or through the door passing through. They are in the middle. They're kind of in the doorway. They're in the act. They're in the action uh, and corresponds with the act of acting your race. So someone who's in the act of passing, who's consciously passing, um, not kind of just f comfortably in their race, uh, as we would say with someone who is less of a frustrating character, maybe who we understand better, who fits into a, a station of society more. Um, we look at um, Claire as the opposite, who does pass, who's in this action, and who is um, between communities. So that's kind of what Toth did. Uh, working like a colored person. This is an article by Mary Wilson, another article I, I worked on uh, and tried to kind of comprehend. And uh, a big use of this article is about race, um, a big criticism on uh, Zulena. Zulena in the article, who is the maid, who we very briefly see, but she's only the real true African-American person uh, in this. And not to say that um, the other two women aren't, Claire and Irene, um, or anyone isn't, but um, that she kind of fits into this working class realm. Uh, and she actually, uh, Wilson says that in her article that um, Claire and Irene are kind of bourgeois. They're kind of these upper crust of society women, and Zulina is more, uh, well, clearly she's a servant in the novel, and um, even the novel, even uh, Larson, the, the author, kind of describes her in a way that, uh, as uh, Mary Wilson would say, uh, describes Zulina in a way uh, of uh, associating her with, like, furniture. Uh, or calling her a creature, and so that's interesting how the uh, how the author chooses to use that type of language. And so it's these two women who uh, you would use Claire or Irene. Uh, we'll use those who are passing, or uh, Irene is a less of a uh, really solid construct of passing. So we we'll use those two women. Zulina, if they're both African American, uh, these two groups or women are African American. It's funny that one is serving and the others are more bourgeois, and uh, Wilson's article looks into this um, about passing. Uh, service 
by Zulena and True Blackness. True African American identity. Uh, lastly, Claudia Tate wrote an article called The Problem of Interpretation, No Larson's Passing. Uh, she, this is kind of an older article, <clears throat> more of a liberal humanist approach, I'd like to say, and um, it kind of says uh, basically that Passing was a good novel, um, and it says that it brings in the trope of the tragic mulatto, and I guess this was being used a lot in literature, a uh, new term to me. But uh, the tragic mulatto, I suppose, as uh, Tate describes it, is someone who passes uh, and reveals the pains of anguish uh, from forsaking their identity. So I, um, I'm trying to think, uh, this is from a, a novel uh, earlier in American history about the uh, double consciousness. I, I forget what novel that is. I'm sure someone watching this will know exactly and it's like, oh, he's talking about that. Um, so I, I suppose you would call that as the tragic mulatto, the young man who's in the train as a... I'm sorry, I'm getting too far off topic. Uh, that is, I suppose, the tragic mulatto by Tate's analysis. So she's saying this is not that. It, uh, she's also saying that the town that um, Larson is using is really artificial. Highly artificial, she says. Imitation uh, of social relationships also in the, in the novel. So it's artificial town, artificial social relationships you wouldn't see normally. Um, and that's what you, I suppose you want with the novels and you don't want the mundane to you want the, the fun stuff of life. Um, kind of going through this quickly, uh, Wilson also uses, uh, I apologize, Tate in this article, uses um, different uh, ways to analyze the women. Um, I think Claire She's talking about Claire, kind of addresses Claire as mysterious and alien. Um, and maybe that kind of goes in with the first article, uh, Toth, who says that she's frustrating, mysterious, no really solid identity. Um, and uh, maybe the last point to hit on is um, the death scene. And, and um, yeah, Claudia Tate really uh, ana analyzes that. Um, is that it's circumstantial, circumstantial evidence in the death scene and that no one can really identify who, if, um, Claire was killed or if she slipped or maybe she committed suicide. We don't know. Um, so, uh, I feel like what, what, um, Wilson was trying to do is just saying that, um, we kind of put our own assumptions onto this. Um, that we can either take Irene's knowledge, well, I'm sorry, Irene's motivation and put a dark spin on it or a positive spin or, uh, well, I mean, the whole circumstance was unfortunate and novel, so we can put our own spin on it. And, uh, that's kind of where that, that article ends. So using those three articles in my really brief rundown, um, uh, I said that they all kind of use the motivations of race or, or motivations entirely so with the last one it was um, the death of Irene was a motivation was it used by race was it used by marriage other things you know I that I haven't really focused on with this um, interpretation but we also have those two previous articles that like race is a social construct that holds together communities and race as something uh, that defines social status that uh, Zulena versus Claire and Irene and how they fit in, um, bourgeois versus the servant. Um, so it kind of delves into character motivations and race, and it brings up these interesting questions. Um, is that, can we use race to define a character? Um, can we use race to define a society? Uh, and I feel like that's my critical question with this whole argument. And um, so, we can look at this broad picture brought by these three articles and look at these main characters, kind of our 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 uh, point of reference in a society, and use them to kind of break it down. And that that may, might be troublesome, might need a lot of work because you can't quite get this view of a huge society by just um, looking at these people. But it provides a lens, and so you would use Claire and Irene, and also Zulena and try and break down this novel and try and break down the society it wants you to look at. Um, why are people's lives great? 
why are some people's lives not so great? Uh, yeah, that's basically it for my critical analysis, um, review of literature. Uh, thank you for coming here and reading into me, watching me in my room on an evening with my stack of books there, positioned so that I look smart. Anyways, thank you so much. Have a good day. Enjoy yourself and do your homework. Stay in school.